Collisions are very important. Without collisions, games would be a complete mess. I mean, they might have the most important job, just stopping objects from moving through each other. There are all sorts of collisions like a collision 2D, poly collision, Y sorting, and even things like collision layering. And I've chaptered this video so you can skip around to the different sections of this video where I go over how to create these collisions step by step. This is episode seven of the how to create a survival game in Godot. And if you could subscribe and drop a like so YouTube can push this video to more aspiring game developers then it would mean the world. But let's get started with the full guide to collisions in Godot. So collisions, we have a lot to go over. So first of all, I just want to go to our world and I want to add a static body. And we're going to kind of use this as our folder for basically the collisions that we're going to go over in this video. So collisions. And first of all, we have a collision shape 2D. Now collision shape 2Ds are pretty basic. Like if we just create a circle, we add it right here and we play the game. Well, we have a point where our player stops. If we go up here to the debug and we add a visible collision shapes and then we play the game, well, we're going to be able to see this collision, right? But that's pretty basic and that can't, I mean, it's used for some stuff, but I think that, you know, it's not really too important because what's used for all this stuff is basic collision shapes just like that, but they are in area 2D. So they're an area and they're not actually a collision, but they're an area. So they can, it's like a detection zone for these. But for our collisions, we're going to go and use a poly collision. And it's called a collision polygon 2D because these are much better. And this is going to be the outline of the map. So that we're basically going to trace the entire map with our collision poly. And to start it, all we do is we click and then we add a point. And then we have a line and we take this line however far you know we want to go. And we can just drag it all the way around the map. We want to go to, you know, right here on the tree line. Then here we want to come down. Then we want to cross up just like this, right? And then we'll go all the way around the map. And when we get to the end here, we don't actually want to click because if we click, then we're going to finish it and we're going to fill it in. And we want to do something else. So we're going to come up a little bit to there and then we can drag it all the way up and then we can just drag the collision shape all the way around just like this. And then we can bring this line all the way back down here and connect it to the original line or the original, the starting point. So we can make a full loop. And now you can see what this looks like, right? And this is going to be an actual collision and it goes around the lake and it goes around everywhere. And maybe this is a little messed up. So if it's messed up, you can click and you can drag these to change it up a little bit. And that is our collisions, right? Maybe we can drag this one out more. And this is our collision. This is our collision shape. So now we can't go anywhere. So if we click play on our world by clicking F6, you can see that, well, we can't walk onto these. We can't walk into the lake. We can't walk you know, onto the forest. We can't walk off the map anymore. Now we have to go all the way around this lake to get down here to the bottom. But the problem that you're going to see is that these trees for one are in front of the player and that's going to be an easy change that will change here in just a minute. And these trees don't work at all. And how are we going to fix these trees? Well, these trees here are going to be Y sorted and we're going to have to Y sort these trees. So to Y sort these trees, that's going to be a pretty more complicated collision this these two were super super basic collisions but y sorting is going to be just a little bit more complex so basically y sorting is going to allow us to check if the player is in front or behind an object so like this tree if we're behind it well we want the tree to be in front but if the player is over here then we want the player to be in front right so to fix this we're going to have to do a decent amount of work so if we click out it's actually not it's only going to be like maybe four minutes of work but it's you know just more work than just a normal collision and to start we're going to go to our tile map we're going to come down to our layers. First of all, we're going to put all of our layers. So we have Y sort origins here and we're going to change all these back to zero. I don't know why any of these are even changed, but all of our Y sort origins need to be zero and the Z indexes, whatever layer that we want to Y sort, we're going to keep that Z index as zero, but the other layers we're going to have negative one. So if we go to our tile map and we find our layers, well, layer one is going to be the ground layer two is going to be like the cliffs and layer three is going to be the layer that we want to Y sort, right? Cause that's going to be all the trees. So for our Y sort layer, we'll leave Z index at zero and we'll enable Y sort. And then for our other two layers, we, cause those are always going to be behind. We're going to want the Z index to equal to nothing or to equal to negative one. And we're also going to have to go down at the bottom of our, 
of our tile map go to ordering and we're going to have to enable Y sorting on the actual tile map itself and then here in our tile set we can open this up we can open up what tiles that we want to actually have as collisions that we need or that we want to have collisions and we want those collisions to Y sort based on whatever other collisions are in the game so for example this tree we can click on it we can click select on this tree go to paint click on a property and first we're going to actually have to go up here to our physics layer and add an element we're gonna have to add a physics layer to our map and then we can go here and we can say physics layer zero click on this and then it's gonna pop up this little zone if we click on the little cursor we can drag it around the trunk because that's going to or that's gonna be where we want our collision that's where we're going to want our collisions for our tree to be. And just for these particular sprites, this tree here is going to match this tree. So we can just do this. Then we're going to go click on this tree and you're going to see it's going to be off. So if we go and we realign these, well, it's going to look more you know, uniform and it keeps adding them, but that's not that big of a deal. We click it. It's going to you know, realign the little collision. That's going to be the same for this one. And then just one more that we have to fix up and it should not take too much time just like this and then we can click on this and you can see that it fixes up the collisions so the collisions are now fixed if we were to play the game we would have working collisions so if we go to our world click play you can see that these trees now have collisions now we can't go in front or behind yet but they do have working collisions on every single tree right you can see the little collisions but if we go back to our tile map well we can actually add a y sort origin and this y sort origin is going to be what you know is able to if we go to paint we're gonna have to do physics layer and then we're going to have to say our y sort origin and these y sort origins are going to have to change based on you know whatever it is so if we click on this tree and we change up the origin a little bit so if we go negative five we click on it you're going to see it's going to bring it up if we go to positive five or you're going to see that it's going to bring it up so if the player walks in front of this then it's going to be in front if the player walks behind this it's going to be in the back so let's say we want mm, 10 maybe what would 10 be that's uh, okay that's like the trunk and then i guess if we do 10 on all these maybe maybe a little bit lower maybe 12 yeah okay that's going to be a little bit better and then on all these trees we can do 12 because that's going to be towards the bottom of the tree and that's what we need is towards the bottom of the tree so if we save the scene you can select these tiles and you're going to be able to see that we have collisions and we have y sort origins now right so if we go and play the game well, are we going to have Y sorting yet? And you can see that we do not have Y sorting yet, but everything should be set up for Y sorting. So why is there no Y sorting? Well, our player, if we go to our player, we go to our kinematic body, we go to ordering. Our player does not have Y sort enabled. So if we enable Y sort on our player and then we go back to our world and we have to enable Y sort on our node 2D up here at the very top, we click play. Well, you're going to see that now our player is behind the tree. Now our player is in front of the tree, behind the tree, in front of the tree. The apple trees though, they also work. So now everything in this game is going to work. The sticks also work, but you can't really see them because they disappear a little bit too fast. But if we save this scene and we go to our debug, we turn visible collision shapes off. We click play. You're going to see that we can walk around just like this around these trees and they have Y sorting. We cannot walk into the lake anymore. We can't walk into this forest, but you can see that the forest is now in front of our player like we wanted it to be. And down here, this is going to be a little messed up, but that is, I guess, because of our tiles. It must be because of our tile set. Okay, and that's going to be an easy fix. So if we go to our tile map, we go down here to layer three. We can just remove those from layer three. We go to layer one and we can add those back to layer one. And now if we go to our world and we click play. You can see that Y sorting works on the trees, works on the apple tree. And that the only reason we were able to like pass through it there is because we don't have a collision on our apple tree because we'll have to add that separately. But you can see down here that everything is fixed. Everything works nicely. The trees work. And if we want to fix up this apple tree real quick, then we can go up here to our apple tree and then we can go to the apple tree and we can add a static body because this is a node 2D. We cannot add a collision 2D straight to it. But if we add a static body, we can rename this as just the, 
collision because this is going to be used kind of as a folder and then we can use our collision shape 2d we can add a shape and we can move it to where we want to on the apple tree just like this and now our apple tree is going to have collisions so if we go to the world and we click play you're going to see that the apple tree now has collisions and we can't just walk through it we can still walk around it but we can't just walk through the tree anymore and you can walk through the edges just because we don't have a collision shape up here on the in the leaves but that you know if you want to make the collision shape just a tad bit bigger than you can and that will not happen but yeah the apple trees now have collisions we can go collect the sticks and we can obviously everything else that we can do in our game is working just good and can't walk in the leg and all the collisions are good but how do we do collision layering well basically collision layering you have to have a mask and a layer so if we go to our tile map here we're going to see that we have collision mask collision layer if we go to our player you're going to see our player down here has collision mask and collision layer this is going to show basically if it's on let's say the mass 2 and then let's say the enemies on the mass 2 or the layer 2 and the layer 2 this is shows what it can interact with and what it cannot interact with and what can interact with it and what can't interact with it and i know that may seem a little complicated but next video i'll be going over how to create an enemy and a big chunk of that video will be explaining these collision layers and assigning mask and layers to different nodes so that all the collisions come together and they work perfectly good so if you want a visual example of the collision layering and the mass, then I recommend watching that video and it will be coming out very, very soon within the next one or two days. And I'll leave a link to, in the description to a playlist of this series, of the whole survival series in which episode eight will be uploaded within. But I want to thank you so, so much for watching. I hope I was able to explain how collisions work and I hope that you can walk away from this video with a better understanding of how to create collisions for your own Godot games. Remember to subscribe and drop a like so YouTube can push this to more aspiring game developers. And until next time, stay safe and have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day.